MovieWeb.com. The pictures you are about to see are real. They have not been retouched or manipulated. It is called spirit photography, an event in which images of the dead are caught on film. Stories where things are not as they appear to be are always interesting to me. So, you so don't see coming the end of the film when you start off. So when you're reading the script and you're flipping through the pages and you get to the end, you're like, oh, oh, well that makes everything I just watched completely different. Right. And the best example of that is Usual Suspects. And this is not that movie, but, but no, you know, when you get to the end of Usual Suspects and they basically undo the entire film that you've just watched, you're like, wait, 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 what does this mean? Who knows what, when, where, how? Um, and that's good storytelling. Did you cross a bridge? What was the last thing that you passed? Uh, this intersection about... <laughs> <laughs> Well, the character was a really big component of it. I like the fact that she's a very proactive female in a movie like this. You know, she's not, you know, a young girl in a haunted house with blonde hair having horrible things happen to her. She's right. very, very proactive in the film. And I like the, the spirit photography component of this film too. You know, it's about um, this phenomenon called spirit photography, which is about um, images of the dead occurring in photographs. And I thought that was totally intriguing. Did you see the the Thai version? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I loved the original film. That was one of the reasons why I wanted to do it so much, because I was just a fan of the original. You know, spirit photography has been around since the 1800s, as long as photography itself. All across the world, these images have always appeared, connecting us with the unseen. And I think they're trying to tell us something. Like what? Well, it depends on the people in the pictures. Unrequited love. Maybe you've had an unfinished business with a dead relative. It could be your father, mother, children. I've seen pictures where living people have appeared. I think it's a case of strong emotions making themselves heard. Like a message. It's a really cool story, and it's really scary. I mean, it's not, I wouldn't call it horror. It's definitely no, like it's kind thriller. Of thriller. It yeah, is. it's like it's like cerebrally scary, I think. Have you seen Teeth? No, but I've heard great things about it. I know John Hensley is in Teeth, who's also in this movie. Perfectly cast as creepy guy, because if you saw Teeth, he is so scary in it and you see him again and you're like it's the creepy guy it's one of my favorite scenes john's i mean john's so he's a very very talented man john but um he i love that scene with him and actually my friend daisy who plays the, the the model in the the horrible scene where someone gets their eye poked out um but uh yeah anyway i'm always put the horror flicks i have to like make myself watch <laughs> and this one i was like you know it's really it's a it's a thriller too it's a thriller it's, more than it's a horror film but that's the that's the the, that J-horror genre, that's what they do. They sort of pull you in and pull you in and it gets creepier and creepier and creepier and you don't know, you know it's coming, but you don't know what it is. So that when it finally gets you, it's kind of shattering. But it doesn't, you know, you're not having to watch people get cut into little pieces before you get to the end. 